Welcome back. So today I'm here with the 2023 Australian Grand Prix preview. So last year, let's start with last year's results. So last year, uh, Charles Leclerc won his second race in the season for Ferrari, that of Sergio Perez and George Russell in the Mercedes. Uh, other notable incidents from last year's race was Verstappen DNFing, uh, putting him sixth in the championship, I believe, and massively behind uh, Charles Leclerc in the championship who at this point was leading by, I think, 40 points over George Russell. And everyone was talking about how great Ferrari was this year and how this was the year. And we soon saw how that turned out. Uh, another notable uh, moment from the race was Albon going to the second to last lap of the race on hard tires and then switching to softs uh, and getting a 10th place and one point out of that. So that was uh, some of the big talking points from last year's race. So for this year's race, uh, the tires this year are the hard C2, medium C3, and soft C4. So those are the same tires that we used uh, two weeks ago at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix in Jeddah. Uh, so I think obviously the Melbourne Albert Park street circuit, a very unique circuit, uh, quite bumpy and quite a unique circuit in that it's very hard to compare it to other tracks on the calendar. Uh, it's a track where overtaking is very difficult and track position and qualifying in particular is extremely important. So cars that can qualify well are in a really good place to get good, good results on Sunday. Um, it's, a lot of the corners are very kind of point and squirt. So you kind of, uh, they're more slower speed and you kind of put the car into the apex and then you kind of get the power out of the corner. And there are not very many long, very fast corners. Although with the change of the chicane, uh, what corner is that, like 10-11, I think it is, 10-11, where they really made the back part uh, much faster. So outside of that, it's much more slower corners. Um, but again, very really different from the two tracks that we've had already, Bahrain and, uh, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. So uh, it will be interesting to see how things go this weekend. I think, uh, again, it will be probably, Red Bull will probably be the fastest car. And then it will be the pack of three, Ferrari, Mercedes, and Aston Martin behind. And then probably Alpine, uh, nearing and rounding out the back of the points playing positions, at least in theory. So uh, some predictions for uh, this year's race, I think. After reliability problems in qualifying, I'm predicting that not to happen again, and I will predict a Max Verstappen win uh, with Sergio Perez second. Um, third, I'm actually gonna go with Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. Uh, the Ferraris, I think, are good enough in qualifying that they should be able to get probably third, uh, maybe fourth in qualifying. Uh, maybe lock up the second row, in which case they're gonna be in a really good position uh, for a podium, because even though the Astons may be better on race pace, because track position is so important at Albert Park, I think that the Ferraris may still be able to hold on and get a their first podium of the season. So that's all for today's video. Obviously, uh, practice starts tomorrow, so it'll be exciting and looking forward to that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.